Hi friends or oh, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be discussing about Bello Thrust. So here you can see an unrestrained expansion joint or bellow in other words it's a metallic bellow and today we are going to see a very interesting and an important topic called bellow thrust this is a very important topic in designing piping systems as a piping engineer you need to give a lot of importance to the bellow thrust in this video i am trying to build an intuitive understanding towards uh, bellow thrust towards the concept of bellow thrust so as i said earlier this is the single most important factor in designing piping systems and this is helpful in designing anchors what i mean by anchors is that they are support systems it is it and it must withstand the full bellow thrust due to pressure flow spring forces and all other piping loads it should withstand similarly in this discussion we will be talking about only unrestrained bellows but there are other variants of expansion joints or bellows which will contain tyroids hinges or gimbals so this understanding about pressure thrust is also helpful to design these elements as well without much ado let's get started with an example so here you can see a duct which is internally pressurized and we all know that at this point there will be a force which will be equal to pressure times the area this particular area then it will cause what is known as a meridional stress on the pipeline now sim in the second example here as also as you can see over here there is a load flow which is given by capital f it can be also referred to as the tensile force reaction of the pipe material so this half free body diagram looks like this and this half free body diagram looks like this so this is pretty straightforward now let us introduce a bellow into both of these joints then see how they will it be how will it they behave so as you can see over here i have introduced a unrestrained expansion joint so the key important concept is that this is equivalent to cutting the pipe because of the inherent flexibility it makes it unable to transmit the force as in the earlier case now what happens this will lead to large deformations and even a bellow failure so how we can prevent it easy we need to provide supports or anchors as shown over here now what happens the moment you introduce an anchor here there won't be a load flow here why because this particular f will get balanced but with the reaction forces from the main anchor so that means this particular region of the pipeline won't be stretched be, won't be loaded so uh, to cut the long story short adding this kind of anchors into the piping system will prevent this particular expansion joint or bellow from overextending but on the other hand this main anchors must be able to resist the pressure thrust force and a small amount of uh, force due to the deflection of this bellows also that i will come into later now what will be the pressure thrust force how to quantify that let us look uh, see that so in the second example as well we are introducing a bellow as shown over here now what happens earlier this particular f was simply pressure times the cross sectional area but now what happens since we have introduced an expansion joint the area is slightly modified this dm is corresponding to the mean diameter so there is an extra load because of the bellow convolution let us look into that form in more detail so as you can see over here we are zooming in this particular region let me make it even more clear for you so we are zooming in this region to here now what happens you can see pressure force at this is balanced by the pressure force acting here similarly pressure force at acting at this region is balanced by the pressure force acting at this region but there is an unbalanced portion okay so that's why the bellow end thrust is having a slightly different expression now or it is slightly enhanced compared to this case so your bellow thrust can be quantified or can be calculated using this particular equation where mean diameter of the expansion joint is coming into play make sense so in a nutshell unrestrained expansion joints must be used in anchored and guided systems which require the anchors at each end of a pipe so uh, so that the pressure thrust will be reacted 
at the anchor points. Here I have shown a very simple piping system with where there is one expansion joint here and there are two anchors. Let's say uh, this pipeline is supposed to be working at a very high temperature. So this be bellow is introduced to accommodate certain thermal growth. Then what will be the load acting on the main anchors? Two forces will be acting at the anchor. One is the pressure thrust as we explained earlier. And the next is the force required to deflect the expansion joint. Why? Because the expansion joint will be def getting deflected by a certain amount. Uh, that will be let's say call that as deflection then the stiffness times the deflection will be another force which will be reacted at the main anchor so let me summarize i hope you have clearly understood what is bellow thrust and how bellow thrust should be countered using anchor support and the equation to quantify the forces acting at the anchor